Hi everyone, welcome to today's video on our upgrade for VMware vSphere 5.5. So today we're going to be walking through a live uh, demonstration or tutorial on upgrading uh, the, my current lab environment which is running on vSphere 5.1. We're going to walk through the upgrade of single sign-on, vCenter inventory service and our vCenter server followed by upgrading our ESXi hosts. So just a few notes that I've made here in regards to uh, upgrading to vSphere 5.5. Uh, the vCenter server will no longer run on Windows Server 2003 or 2008 SP1. So if you're running uh, 2003 or 2008 SP1, you first have to uh, upgrade to a minimum of a 2008 SP2 before upgrading your vCenter server. So the vSphere 5.5 in-place upgrade is supported on uh, all 64-bit systems from vCenter 4.x, 5.0 and 5.1. Another thing which is not supported uh, going to vSphere 5.5 is migrating an earlier version of vSphere to a new machine running vSphere 5.5. If you're looking to migrate to a new machine, you must do a prerequisite which is upgrade the existing to a version of 5.0 or 5.1 and then upgrade to version 5.5. So once we upgrade to vCenter 5.5 we'll be able to manage ESX and ESXi 4, ESXi 5.0 and ESXi 5.1 as well as ESXi 5.5s. So just a few more things before we get under the way. Make sure you run your backups of the databases of your vSphere infrastructure and also make sure you've backed up your SSL keys. I've already backed up my SQL databases and I've already backed up my SSL keys here. So the location for the SSL keys are in uh, C colon slash program data slash application data slash VMware slash VMware virtual center slash SSL. So basically I've just copied off all these keys to a uh, directory that I've created on the C drive which is just C colon slash backups. Now the upgrade has to be done in a specific sequence. So the sequence is upgrading vCenter single sign-on first, followed by the inventory service, and then finally vCenter server. And even before that, what we're going to do is we're going to run this host agent pre-upgrade checker. And what this will do is we'll just check against my current ESXi host and just make sure that it's a good candidate to be able to upgrade to vSphere 5.5. So I'm going to install this. I'll click next. I'll select my uh, DSN for vCenter and I'll type in my username and password. This username and password that I've entered in here is a username and password off my Windows Active Directory services and that has access into my vCenter database. So here you can select standard mode or custom mode. I've only got one host in my lab at the moment, so, but what I'll do is I'll select custom mode just to show you, um, and we'll click next. So it's identified my one host, VM ESXi1. This is currently running version 5.1. So I've selected that, and I'll click next. And we're going to run a test against that host, so I'll click run pre-check. Okay, so the host's been scanned, I'll click next. And you can see here that it is passed, so we will not have any issues upgrading this host to version 5.5. So I'll click next. And that concludes the agent pre-upgrade check. So I'm going to click finish. And now we can get underway with upgrading our vCenter single sign-on. I'll click install. It warns you here to make sure that your SSL certificate for vCenter single sign-on has not expired. Uh, if it is expired, please replace it with a valid certificate before upgrading. So just take note of that. Click OK. One thing I just wanted to point out before we continue any further is just over here in my installer screen, uh, you can see that there's two options here. There's the simple install. The simple install will go through and upgrade single sign-on inventory service and vCenter server automatically for you. Uh, but for this demonstration, I want to do a custom installation to show you each individual step. And um, personally, myself, when I do this uh, out of the data center, I usually do a custom install so I can see each individual bit uh, and have a little bit more control over it. So we'll continue with our single sign-on setup. And you can see here that it's detected an earlier version of single sign-on. 
and it just notifies you that it's going to be upgraded to single sign-on 5.5. So let's click next. Uh, accept the license agreement. So here it just does a little prerequisite check. We've got a few green ticks here. Everything's good. I uh, don't have any errors, so I'll continue. Again, it notifies you that it's detected an earlier version of vCenter single sign-on and that the settings will be migrated across, so there won't be anything lost here. So I'll click next. Now vCenter single sign-on you can install in a few different ways. The way that I've installed it is just a single sign-on server. You can install it in a type of HA environment with additional SSO servers. So just select the option of your SSO installation. So again, mine's the first one, first existing vCenter single sign-on server. I'll click next. So here it's asking me for the administrator password for the domain vSphere.local, which is my Windows Active Directory domain. The reason why the username is grayed out or that you can't change that is because I'm actually logged into this server as administrator so I've fired up the installer uh, as administrator not as another user you can um, have that run as different user if you right click it and select run as different user or another way is just log on to the server as the user you want it to be installed as uh, so I'm logged in as administrator so I'm just going to type in my password for my admin account and click next. So in this window we can create a, a site name for our vCenter single sign-on. So as you can see default site name is default-first-site. Uh, if you're happy with that you can leave that as it is. I'll, I might change mine to vmlab and I'll click next. So my previous single sign-on installation was installed in C program files VMware infrastructure. So it's found that I'll click next. And basically here's a quick summary of the SSO upgrade. If you need to make any changes here, you can click the back button and make some changes and then come back to this point again. Uh, but I'm happy I've uh, made the correct choices here, so I'm going to click install and um, get this single sign-on upgraded. Okay, the single sign-on upgrade has completed successfully. And that completes step number one. So step number two, we'll move on to upgrading our inventory service. Now I'm going to click install and start the upgrade to the vCenter inventory service. As you can see on the screen here, the prerequisite before upgrading the inventory service is to have single sign-on upgraded to 5.5. So we've successfully done that, so I'm going to click install here. Similar information is displayed here as with our uh, SSO upgrade. So the vCenter inventory service installer has detected an earlier version and this earlier version will be upgraded to inventory service 5.5. A little bit different with the SSL certificate. Uh, it says here if the distinguished name for any existing SSL certificate is not unique, the old SSL certificate will be replaced with a new certificate. So I'm going to click next now, accept the user agreement. I'm going to keep my existing database and click next. So my inventory service is installed on the same server as vCenter server and the host name for that is vmvc1 so the fully qualified domain name for my host is vmvc1.vmlab.local and I'll click next here. These are the ports that my inventory service are currently using so I don't wish to change any of those but you can if you like. I'm going to click next. And here, just select the inventory size according to your number of hosts and virtual machines that you have deployed. In my lab here, I have only one virtual machine, one host. So I'm just going to select the small option. And it's going to set the JVM memory to 3 gig. I'll click next. So here we're going to authenticate to our SSO server and register the inventory service. So I'm going to type in my password for the administrator account. And just verify that your lookup service URL is correct. We'll click next. This is the fingerprint of the certificate of the SSO lookup service. So click yes here to accept it and continue. And we're ready to begin the upgrade. So I'm going to click install. And now our inventory service has been successfully upgraded. So let's click finish. And that concludes part number two. So part number three, we're going to look at the upgrade of our vCenter server.